Hey guys, welcome back! A special date is approaching, Valentine's Day. So, this week I bring you a lovable episode with some of the cutest titles for you to play with your non-gamer loved one. Let's take a look. First of all, there's some rules that we need to somewhat respect. Buy a game with your significant other and avoid sequels. Prepare some snacks and other surprises. Be patient with your explanation of the controls and gameplay. Take lots of breaks to avoid getting too tired. Lose on purpose from time to time. If your loved one isn't enjoying it, you need to stop immediately. If you lose because of your partner, don't be mad, just laugh it out loud. So, here's my list, without any specific order of awesome games for Valentine's Day. Starting with LEGO series of games. All of us have grown up playing with those LEGO blocks that have that amazing feeling of transporting our mind to this alternative reality. Boys and girls, we all are familiar with those cute little characters that are around since 1949. I used to play with these way before I placed my hands on my first video game. LEGO games are available for a handful of platforms – PS2, PS3, PS4, PSP, Vita, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, Nintendo DS, 3DS, Game Boy Advance, GameCube, Wii, Wii U and this is one awesome way to spend Valentine's Day. Next up, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. This is a funny mascot-based racing game in which players race against each other using characters from various Sega franchises. There's also several varieties of weapons to pick up and use against your opponent, just like in the beloved Revolt from 1999. Sonic is such a cute video game character that will certainly be recognized right away and even bring back some good old memories of playing the very first Sonic game on the Master System or Mega Drive Genesis. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed is available for PS3, PS Vita, Xbox 360, Wii U, DS, PC and Android and iOS portable devices. And what about a good old arcade game from 1982? Here's Mrs. Pac-Man. If you have an arcade cabinet in your home, this is one good way to spend some time with your loved one. There's hundreds of co-op games that you could play with your soulmate. Imagine how hard it is to choose just one. Because of that, I've chosen Mrs. Pac-Man. That way, you'll be letting your significant other play and you'll just stay there, watching and be thrilled for getting in return some smiles and laughter. Plants vs Zombies is one of those original ideas that turned certain games into great classics. Just imagine having a variety of different plants protecting your brain from getting eaten by zombies. Well, that's what this game is all about. Originally available for PC and Mac and later for portable systems, Xbox Live and PlayStation Network, this is a highly addictive and funny game to play alone or in co-op mode.
Fez is such a beautiful indie puzzle platform game that utilizes pixelated art style with plenty of references to other classics of video gaming like, for instance, The Legend of Zelda, Tetris and Super Mario Bros. Available for download since 2012 for Xbox 360, PC, Mac, Linux, PS3, PS4 and Vita, this kind of unique two-dimensional puzzle platform game set in a three-dimensional world is so amazingly beautiful that you and your partner will find yourself stopping to smell the roses for countless times. Set in a beautiful and challenging world, Rayman Origins is one of those games that you can't miss when trying to get someone into gaming. Released for the PC, Mac, PS3, Xbox 360, Wii, 3DS and PS Vita in 2011, this amazingly colorful side-scrolling platformer is playable with up to 4 local players, but for Valentine's Day, 2 players is enough. Don't you agree with me? Rock Band series is another great opportunity to bring people together. Just form a band with your loved one and choose which instruments both will be using and free yourselves playing and singing some of the most charismatic, influential and brilliant songs ever made. Grab a PS3 or Xbox 360 and start making some noise. In the end, you'll be hugging and kissing, that's guaranteed, or your money back. Another cute and awesome little puzzle game ideal to play with friends and, above all, super special friends is Critter Crunch. Released for PS3, PC, Mac and all iOS devices between 2008 and 2012. The concept is quite simple. Control this furry creature named Biggs and, with his long tongue, we must clear each screen launching smaller critters into the mouths of larger ones, filling them up. By doing this, you'll be helping the continuous flow of the food chain. Ah, such a cute game, with the regurgitation scenes and all. Castle Crasher, with its unique cartoon art style, is a side-scrolling beat-em-up with some RPG elements thrown in, that's so amazingly fun and addictive, set in a medieval scenario, where a dark wizard has stolen a mystical gem and captured four princesses. Stories like these, of knights in shining armors and damsels in distress, are always welcome in such an important date as Valentine's Day. You and your partner will be for hours fighting these hordes of funny looking enemies just to breach the castle and save the day. It's available for Xbox 360, PS3, PC and Mac. In this strategy and time management type of game, we'll find ourselves working hard on a diner, sitting and serving people. You just drag and drop customers on any available table, serve their meal and, when they finish, take their correspondent check. At this time, customers leave you a tip and all the dishes on the table for us to clear, so other customers can use that particular table. 
This is an ideal type of game to get someone into gaming and it is available for PC, Mac, Wii, DS, PSP, PS3, Xbox 360, Android and iOS devices and it spawned numerous sequels. I couldn't end this video without pointing a Mario game. So my favorite is the new Super Mario Bros. for Wii. It's a highly addictive, super colorful game that needs absolutely no introduction. This little gem sold over 10 million copies and was considered the fast selling single system game ever made. That's one hell of an accomplishment. Just fantastic. And this game is enjoyed by all genders, from youngsters to senior folks. So, once again, you won't miss with this one. Your soulmate will certainly fall into your arms, just begging for one more go. Is this what you really want to do on Valentine's Day? Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pixel Thing. Go ahead, subscribe, it's free. Um, you only have to pay for the internet connection, I promise. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Happy Valentine's Day! Before finishing this episode of the Pixel Thing, here's four more options to consider.